right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to the What's Brewing podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Hang. Unfortunately, I didn't get to train a student to do this, so you're going to have to see my ugly mug one more time. But um, today, I wanted to introduce a few guests here. I'm going to let them introduce themselves here. And uh, we're going to start with our, with to my right. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Isaac Osai Brown. I'm a special education teacher here in Wilson. My name is Lauren Doe, and I'm the treasurer for African Ambassadors. My name is Brianna Small. I'm the vice president of African Ambassadors. All right. Let's give them a round of applause, everybody. All right. So today we are going to talk about the event that went down like a couple of Fridays ago because it's Friday. We had got some food. So what was the event? Uh, let's start with Isaac. Yeah, the event uh, was actually organized by the Wilson African Ambassadors. And uh, the event title is A Taste of Africa. Um, we all came together. We had featured Veronica's Kitchen from Inglewood to come cater the food for all of Wilson. And all the board and committee came together and we passed out food, free samples. And there was also a choice if we want to buy or not for the people who like the food a little bit more. And we sold varieties of fufu, puff puff, rice, all kinds of things. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, it was just like an opportunity for students who only did not, you know, identify as African, but just to like have an experience of eating different foods that they probably haven't had before. Yes, I and, had. And also I think uh, the event was actually organized to improve students' community purpose and cultural consciousness as well. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, you know, it had to have like an inception, right? Like who started the conversation? It was like, yo, we got to bring African food to Wilson High School and let these kids and staff and, you know, everyone try it out. Who, who, started, who came up with that idea? Well, as a sponsor of um, the club, I came up with this idea that we have to organize something that will embrace uh, community purpose and also let students know what Africa is all about, learn about culture, um, cuisines, and then, uh, of course, our purpose. And that will bring everyone together in this school. Mm. Um, when we were first thinking about the idea, since a lot of us, we first came from YBS and then we branched out into our own thing. Um, we were thinking about the YBS potluck from last year where they were grilling and cooking and giving out food, the same, basically the same idea. Okay. All right. Well, shout out to YBS. <laughs> Let's go YBS. You want to talk about like what what is YBS? So YBS, it stands for Young Black Scholars, which is basically like a platform to highlight black voices for students. Um, especially in the past, we have not been in the spotlight. So it's just a place where all of us can come together as a community and culture to uplift each other. Yeah. Very well spoken. Very well spoken. So, um, what was your favorite memory? Let's start with you. What was your favorite memory from the event that happened, uh, Taste of Africa? For one, it was probably working behind the scenes. And it was actually really funny like to see the chaos of everybody <laughs> trying to get the food and everything. But that was super fun, being able to work with my friends. And then also seeing like the reactions of like what the people were eating, if they liked it, or if it was kind of different to them. So, yeah. Um, I also had the same memory. That was, that was my favorite memory, working with everyone and, like, decorating and stuff like that. Like, even when we had to put up the posters, we had to find, like, really tall people to come and put them up for us so we could have everything, like, so everyone can see everything. And for you? Yeah, I just was so thrilled to see community connectedness and also the joy and excitement that the event brought. So it brought everything, everybody together, and we were just so excited waiting to see what is in store for them, what was in store for them. Mm, I had a favorite memory, too, stirring all that yummy food. <laughs> all right. And uh, if you had to do something, you know, to modify this event to make it better, per se, what would you do differently next time around? I would say communicating more with the, um, the caterers because there's a lot of um, ups, but butting heads because we didn't know who was selling what and, like, who was selling... You know, like some we had puff puff on one side, puff puff on another side, but we didn't know one was for free samples and one was strictly for selling, and it was it became very, very chaotic very fast. Mm. 
Anybody else like to add on? To um, I would just order more food because we ran out of it, and then sometimes we have to take from you know her side of the sample. So yeah, probably just order more food. And I, <laughs> that was that was exciting. And also, I think I will prefer inviting multiple um, vendors, so we don't depend on only one. So if we have multiple vendors, that will provide us with enough uh, delicious, variety of delicious food. That will reduce the tension of going up and down and supporting only one person. Okay, and on the topic of food, like what was your favorite African food that was brought that day? The jollof rice and chicken was great. And that was my favorite. I saw you munching it. You, were, you, were <laughs> really you already know, Mr. Hank, I always eat that food, man. Yes, so that, that, is, that was a great food for me. I prefer that. Um, I would say my favorite was the fufu and igusi soup. Although I didn't get to try a lot of it because I was selling most of the time. Um, I would probably say the chicken or the puff puff. Oh, let me, I have to ask, is the puff puff that round bread? Yes. Oh, yeah. that that round bread was fire, y'all. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. It, I just have to <laughs> give it up for that bread, man, because I was eating the chicken and the rice, and I was like, mm, something sweet would go nice with this. And I took the puff puff bread, and I ate that with the chicken. Fire. It was fire. Cool. Well, um, one last question would be, if you have advice for someone to improve themselves at what they do or as a person, what one advice do you have for someone to, to do that? Um, I would say don't hold yourself back because at first this event, we were like thinking like, how are we going to do this? This is our first event. Like, is it going to be big? Is it going to be small? And we ended up actually doing it. And it came and it was really like it. We did what we, we did our best and we did like the best we could do. And it ended up being perfect, actually. Well, not perfect, but, you know, it was an accomplishment for our, for our um, club. Yeah, I think um, the most important thing is to be organized. And, um, the team, especially the team uh, leaders, were very organized. So we all work as a team. We're able to plan very well, and that is very, very important. So you have to be authentic and responsible to be able to organize uh, things, and the leadership was great. Mm. Um, for you? I would say just to put yourself in the community, whatever you love, just put it out there. You never know what people think. You could introduce them to something that they might love and they didn't know about before. Um, but yeah, just put yourself out there. All right. Well, those are some uh, wonderful advice. Yes, hopefully it enlightened you to be better at what you do or just be a better person in general. Well, I want to thank these uh, wonderful folks for coming on to the What's Brewing podcast. Let's give it up for them one more time. And then we'll close it out with this. Thank you for coming on to the show.